Today we're talking about the electric motorcycle flow from fuel and 11 things you need to know. Hello everyone, I am Mike and welcome to New Bike Mike where I like to share information about new bikes that I find interesting. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this in the future, please remember to hit the subscribe. After all, it is free. Fuels Flow, the e-commuter of the future, designed by the legendary engineer Eric Buell, is now accepting orders. Flow is the brainchild of Eric Buell and the engineering team, all senior engineers with years of experience with Eric at Buell and EBR before joining him on this fuel endeavor. Eric is known for innovations like the hollow aluminum frame to house the fuel and create chassis rigidity. More than 130,000 motorcycles with the Buell name have been produced to date. His involvement and experience mean Flow is a legitimate contender in the electric motorcycle game. Now let's get into it. 1. Who is it for? Flow is designed for the urban or suburban commuter that wants the freedom of two wheels on something innovative, upgradable, affordable, and quite frankly, green. It is for the rider that is ready for something that looks futuristic, that breaks away from the classic motorcycle architecture. 2. Range in the past, I think electric motorcycle companies have tried to give unrealistic expectations about the range of these vehicles. Fuel is very open that this product is for urban and suburban commuting. The Flow packs a 10 kilowatt hour battery to reach an urban range of 150 miles or 240 kilometers. Riding at higher speeds on the interstate is not going to give you that range. Flow was designed as an urban electric commuter, capable of going on highways but not a replacement for gas-powered touring motorcycles. 3. Charging Because Flow has a high voltage architecture, charging time becomes acceptable. On a fast charger, those that are used by electric cars, the charging time is less than 30 minutes. Realistically, you're not going to charge 100% of the battery when you're away from home, but rather from 20 to 90% usually. And the real charging time is around 15 minutes. On a 110 volt outlet, you can expect more like eight hours of charge time. And if you have a home charger system installed, you will most likely be looking at one half to two hours realistically. Four, powertrain. Advanced technology, proprietary electric wheel motor patent pending is literally the driving force of this design. We have two versions with different power outputs. The Flow 1S is rated at 47 horsepower continuously. And then we have the Flow 1 with 15 continuous horsepower to meet reduced licensing requirements. Electric vehicles are known for their incredible takeoff. And with 553 foot-pounds of torque, this is no exception. There's a max speed of sustained 85 miles per hour, and it can do zero to 60 in three and a half seconds. Five, dimensions. The specs for the dimensions are not all known yet, but we do know it weighs 400 pounds. The seat height comes in at 30.1 inches unladen, and the wheelbase is just under 54 inches. Now, while these dimensions may be similar to something like the new Triumph Speed 400, they do not look anything alike. Six, chassis and suspension. The chassis material is magnesium, and we know it has an inverted 40 millimeter front fork with a single-sided swing arm in the rear. The rear shock has adjustable preload, but we don't know what kind of travel suspension will have as of yet. Seven, brakes. Like most electric vehicles, Flow does use regenerative braking system. In this case, we have a rear wheel regenerative braking activated automatically by the application of the linked braking system. Again, patent pending. The front brake is a hydraulic disc with ABS. Eight, wheels. The front wheel is a 2.5 by 17 running a 110 70 17 tire and the rear is a 4 by 17 running a 140 70 17 tire. The electric motor is actually housed in the rear wheel, removing the need for a chain or belt drive. Now you may be worried about tire changes if the wheel is also the motor. Flow's designs allows a sealed housing for these large diameter motor designs, but keeps everything as light as possible and allows for wheel or tire changes without disturbing the motor seals. Nine, power system. As mentioned already, we have a battery capacity of 10 kilowatt hours with battery construction type being lithium ion cylindrical cell array and a structural magnesium housing. The charge port is CCS, which is a standard for electric vehicles, and it can be recharged via a quick charge or at home with the onboard or via an accessory fast charger. 
the estimated typical cost to recharge is $2. That sure beats $4 a gallon at the pump if you're looking to save money and go green at the same time. 10. Tech. Flow's dashboard is connected to the rider's phone on which an app offers all practical information and functionalities like ignition, charge levels, location, alarm, opening of storage compartment, navigation, service manual, and maintenance alerts, as well as contact with fuel. Additionally, Flow can onboard the most advanced safety systems developed in partnership with iRider a tech company bringing to market the world's first complete safety and connectivity systems for light mobility vehicles, collision warning, blind spot detection, active road navigation, and more. 11. Price and availability. Did I mention Flow will be assembled for production in the U.S. and parts and components will emphasize the U.S. or Western province? A truly made-in-the-USA e-commuter. Fuel Flow was just announced as of being available to order for $10,495 during a limited launch campaign. The MSRP is expected to be $12,995, which is $2,500 less than the Del Mar that is expected to release later this year by Livewire. Note, prices will be subject to change. To stay up to date on any potential price drops or special offers, please check out the official order page, link in the description below. Now make sure to leave a comment and let me know if you think there's a place for an electric commuter motorcycle like the Flow in your future. I know the looks are futuristic, but I do have to admit I like that they are not trying to make this electric motorcycle look like a traditional motorcycle. What do you think of the design? Leave me a comment, I am truly interested. Don't forget to like the video, it really helps the channel grow and subscribe if you want to see more videos from New Bike Mike. Thanks guys, see you in the next one.